Young entrepreneurs in the Roseau Valley area have been given exposure in various aspects of business development as part of a Roseau Valley Youth Exposé. Organized by a committee chaired by youth worker for Castries Southeast and Castries South, Nazan Hutchinson, the Exposé has three components. The first was a business entrepreneurship workshop over the last weekend and facilitated by Heidi Alcindor from the Small Business Development Center from the Ministry of Commerce. Today we are here in Marigo and we are having an information session for young entrepreneurs on um, business registration process as well as the benefits of being an entrepreneur, the challenges and also the what is accessible to them in terms of getting of duty free concessions for their businesses, raw materials, products, goods, services, as well as financing options that may be available to them in the pursuance of the building of their businesses and also growth of their businesses as well as formalizations and startups. The next activity will provide participants with an opportunity to expose their business to the public and then there will be an entrepreneurial business mix allowing participants to mingle with members of the community already having established businesses. I learned a lot today from the workshop and I also learned that for you to have a business you're supposed to have a passion in that in that business. So also we have a youth expose on Sunday April 24th on the Marigo playing field for the young entrepreneurs so they can expose their businesses and what they do, what they want to do in the future. Also we'll have talents artists it's coming to perform also, um, it's going to be a big event. I hope there are a lot of young people from the Roseau Valley area who come out in big numbers to support the event. Also, if there are people who do not know about it yet and they have a small business that they want to expose, you can also sign up. The Roseau Valley Exposé was one of the events marking Youth Month in St. Lucia. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien reporting.